know, a lot of our learning has taken place because of the past, because of the mentors and the great people we've had right. leading our industries in the past and leading the parks uh, team and the visitors team in the past. And if we look back at Sports Corps One, and you know, the reason we created it was get all those activities out of the neighborhood, right. but the vision of Bob and Wendy and Webbs to say, hey, we've got all this bandwidth on, on weekends, right. uh, why not fill it up with something? There's a reason that Sports Illustrated named Rockford one of the top sports towns in the entire country. The Park District has three times now been recognized as the best park district in the entire country uh, because I think in large part these great facilities that serve local citizen needs and um, leverage as an economic model those assets to the benefit of their citizens. It's taken on a life of its own. I think the community has embraced amateur sports. We have a lot of active recreational opportunities and it's our opportunity to share those with the world. And in turn, um, those visitors are coming here, they're having a great experience, they're um, you know, going back home and telling other people. But before they went back home, they left their money here. And that's really the great relationship between the Park District and the Bureau and our hospitality industry is that we wouldn't have these facilities or at least these facilities to these, the level that we do without the power of the visitor dollar. And again, the Park District is really here to service our own citizens. And this is great to be able to partner with our public sector and our private sector to make uh, a tourism business that's really almost second to none in, in, the, in the country. But our local citizens really do appreciate the ability to, to play on all these world-class facilities on a regular basis. And you know, we have over a thousand teams in this community made up of our local kids that are on traveling teams. Volleyball, basketball, soccer, baseball. And being able to host many of those tournaments right here in town, you can ask any better parents that have to spend a weekend <laughs> at a tournament outside of the town, they're pushing a thousand dollars a weekend. Now if we can have, uh, if they can have half of their tournaments, just half the tournaments they go to played here locally, they're saving four to five thousand dollars a year in travel costs being able to play in those tournaments right here on some of the best facilities in the country. Tourism is big business here in Rockford. We know that visitors uh, spend in excess of $300 million when they come to our community every year. They support over 3,000 jobs in the hospitality industry, and really there's more than 10,000 people working in uh, restaurant, retail, and hospitality, and 3,000 of those are supported directly by the visitor dollars who are coming in. And we know that we can grow that number by reinvesting, by continuing to invest in amateur sports as an economic driver for our community. We're successful because people who came before us in the, our positions and community leaders uh, for 30 years have valued uh, the, the relationship between visitors supporting our local quality of life through investments in facilities like Sports Corps 1 and Sports Corps 2. And now, you know, it's our opportunity with the community, uh, with our partners, to uh, take it to the next level. And we're going to maximize the heck out of it by bringing visitors in 30 plus weekends a year, and that's going to have a great impact on our downtown. So we envision that if we're bringing 200 to 250 volleyball teams in on a weekend, uh, there'll be uh, about right. 500 games played here in a weekend, but there'll also be games in the school district field houses, BMO Harris Bank Center, Harlem High School, Rock Valley College. So there's a lot of business that's gonna be brought to town uh, to other uh, government and, and public agencies uh, that will uh, also participate in these tournaments all throughout the entire community. The leadership that's really taken place to get to this point, John, is really the city of Rockford and their foresight in buying this building, right. but also uh, a lot, you know, approving resolutions for the hotel right. tax, right. Uh, which we're seeking passage of, and hopefully will be passed by the time we we're, we're, we're watching <laughs> this in a couple of weeks. Uh, but uh, you know, the, the, the other the villages in, in the other cities, right. Loves Park, Machesney, Cherry Valley, right. South Beloit, the, the county of Winnebago and their, their valuable use of, of host fees to help make these kind of facilities right. happen. You know, we really have to now look to the future and say, what comes next and how do we bring people around uh, this issue, this common cause to, to make it better. The downtown sports complex is right on the river. How are we going to leverage the river as a great recreational and tourism asset? Moving forward with the Whitewater Park would be a great next phase. Uh, I, I get calls from, uh, and I know Tim does, from parents who, who say, why not an Olympic-sized swimming pool, or why not another sheet of ice? And, you know, why not? And what coalitions will come together to move those projects forward? 
You know, I really wish that all of our citizens could see Rockford through the eyes of a visitor. We get great feedback all the time about Rockford, about this entire region. Visitors come back, they want to come back, they want to bring their families. It's because they have a great time. It's because we have great facilities that are not uh, typical in other communities. We have great museums and golf courses and gardens and locally owned restaurants. And we get this great feedback all the time, which gives us confidence that by reinvesting in facilities like this downtown sports complex, we will have great success. And we have a 30-year track record that says this is going to be successful and this will have dramatic long-term positive impacts for our community.